often attacks the lungs. But a new survey found 85% of cities do not have enough ventilators to help fight the virus. So how many do we have and how do they work? I got to tell you, Heather, I don't think I ever really gave a ventilator right. another thought and, uh, until all this started. No, you sure didn't. But uh, even the governor, when he was pointing out, when he first announced the stay at home measure, he was pointing out that if you do get to the hospital with a COVID-19 case, if you are that sick, you have a 10 times greater chance of surviving if you have access to a ventilator. Hmm. That's why it's so important because the ventilators, they can help you breathe. For some people, it can't breathe even at all on their own. For a lot of people, it helps them breathe so the rest of their body can, can start to heal. So like most of our viewers, I know what I know about operating rooms and hospitals mm -hmm. from uh, television. Right. And so you <laughs> see uh, people being intubated, right? Right. right. And mm -hmm. that's like a tube that goes down. It's a tube that goes down and it goes right down to about here into your trachea, into your airways so that the air can get into the both of the lungs there. And what does the ventilator do? Then, then the ventilator helps push the oxygen in, but also allows the carbon dioxide to come out there. Um, it's interesting because a lot of people have asked about CPAP machines. Sure. Uh, many, many people have asked about them. And right now, and I talked with one of the manufacturers of some of the CPAP machines, mm -hmm. and they said right now, the CPAPs only do positive airway pressure, so bringing uh, that in. So one-way uh, operation. Right, so you couldn't, the way that CPAPs huh. are now, you really couldn't use them. It would take significant reworking. Uh, they're looking into it, but but unfortunately, that's not a usable option right now. So let's talk about how many of these ventilators we right. have in this area, because you were mm -hmm. able to, to get some information. I was. Late Friday afternoon, the Department of Health gave me some numbers. Uh, we have 2,200 ventilators in the state of Minnesota. But you have to remember, there are other things going on here besides COVID-19. So only 1,000 of those ventilators are available. I mean, for example, at Hennepin Healthcare, they use 50 ventilators a day, and that's just not even on their COVID patients. So the state is really working hard to figure out how do we get more ventilators? How many more ventilators do we think we'll need? Uh, this is all part of their modeling and part of their forecasting that they're working on, and they hope to have some of that information within the next couple days or couple weeks. Medtronic does some of this work? Medtronic does, and Medtronic is doubling their production of ventilators. Uh, some other things that are happening, uh, if you've ever seen a BiPAP machine, it's different from the CPAP, different anesthesia machines that are in the hospital. Some of these hospitals are converting those machines mm -hmm. over. Um, uh, some hospitals are also considering the idea of splitting up ventilators. So one ventilator for two patients, perhaps. And I've heard differing opinions on how well that works uh, from different doctors. But you have to have really two people of the same size and essentially because they have to get the same amount of air uh, that is coming in. So they're, they're doing everything they can. They're looking at every available thing to do to try and increase the availability of these ventilators. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's easy now to say, like, well, why didn't we just make more of before, but right. you don't want to buy these things if they're ordinarily not being used. Right, and we're trying to get some in from the federal government, yeah. but that's also a, that's its own uh, process and trying right. to figure that out. How too. long have they been sitting in storage and not right. being maintained and all of that? Exactly. All right.